I'm Rahul and today for you I'm going to be giving a little kind of guide on how to increase your frames per second in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now I'm not going to be going over any of those kind of Razer Game Booster things as I think they just don't help at all. I mean they might help if you've got a really bad system but um, for most people out there who have decent systems they, they don't really give that much of a performance increase and they're just more um, nuisance than they're worth so I'm not going to be going over any of that but I'll be going over just the settings in game you should be using and then just a few things you can do with your like your CPU, your um, GPU, and also your monitor, just to give yourself a little bit of a more smooth experience and um, increase your frames a little bit as well. Because um, I know everybody out there wants the um, highest ref uh, frame per second and a highest ref refresh rate because it does. Um, just I increase like your performance in Counter Strike because um, with a higher uh, frames per second, you will be able to have like quick reactions and stuff like that. It does help a little bit. I don't know. I think so. Anyway, let's get straight on into it. Let's go on into the settings you should be using in game. Okay, so when you're in game, just simply hit the escape key and go on over into your video settings. Now, um, when you are on your video settings, the top kind of ones you don't really want to be messing around with. Um, you could probably change like your brightness, I guess, but um, everything else you can pretty much keep the same because they don't really have that much of an effect. If you're playing on a laptop like Greg, then I guess you can put the um power saver thingy on but um all these settings here you want to keep um to maybe how i've got them for your shadow quality high is decent um you can see shadows it's great for people peeking around doors you get to see them model and texture detail i like to keep low it's, it gives me a bit more frames and um i don't know it's the game still looks pretty cool the effect detail i keep on high as well um this you can probably keep on low if you want more frames but um high works for me and then on your shader detail i um have this on very high just to get see all my skins make them all look nice and stuff but if you don't have a decent system or you've got a like a mediocre system then i would say probably put this on um the lower settings just to get yourself more frames now these other settings you just want to try and keep the same as me multi core rendering this just helps with uh, if, if you've got multi cores on your cpu if you've got this enabled then th th they'll just use them and um it'll help out and um then your anti-aliasing you don't really need that so let's keep it or none and all this other stuff you want to keep the same as me for your v-sync i like to heave, have this off but if you do have like one of those g-sync monitors you still want to have this off but it um it will like help with the screen tearing so that'll be pretty cool i don't have a g-sync monitor and i won't be getting one because i don't have a g a nvidia gpu but um i think there's some amd stuff's coming out soon which um will help with all of that anyway um that is about it for the stuff you want to be doing in game so let's move on Alright, so now that we are on the PC, we can go ahead and do some of the tweaking. So first off, what you want to go um, on into is Steam, and um, make sure you don't have Counter-Strike running, but just right-click the game, go on Properties, and um, then do Set Launch Options, and then just copy these into your, um, it, they'll be in the description, copy this and put it into your own launch options. On your threads, just make sure it's the amount of cores on your CPU. And um, this basically will just um, speed up the time it takes to load the game, so it'll stop all that video and stuff, and it, it just gives you a little bit more smoother uh, feel when you're playing the game. So this is all good. You don't have to do it, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but it is quite nice to have. Um, next, what you want to do is um, click that link in the description to um, take which will take you to the park control thingy and um, I'll show you what that is so uh, when you download it you'll get this thing called park control and you just want to double click it it'll open up um, this little uh, program thing and you get to see your CPU you see that you're using eight out of eight cores make sure you're using all of them and um, you just want to make your um, kind of preset thing on high performance make active and click apply these will all be on a hundred percent and um, this will just give you the best performance for your CPU because normally they don't um, it, does, it isn't used at its maximum potential and um, this isn't that great especially on games like DayZ but on Counter-Strike as well it um, it does have a little bit of an effect but be wary here though make sure that you do have good cooling on your cpu because if you do this then it, there is a possibility that it could overheat and damage your cpu and the possibility is not too high but it is there so you don't want to have that risk so just make sure you got good cooling for me i've got um water cooling so i'm fine here but if you just got a cheap fan or something on your cpu just um go out and try and get yourself some better cooling but i'm sure most of you guys out there have Cool, decent cooling anyway so this doesn't matter now um, now what you want to do is uh, go on and download your latest drivers for your graphics card and most of you probably um, do have this already but um, for me I've got AMD R9 290X so I've got the AMD uh, drivers and if you got uh, Nvidia then you'll just have those and then you just want to go on to the overclock section of your drivers 
And for mine, it's, it looks like this. For yours, it might look a bit different. I don't know. And you just want to make sure you've got your enable graphics overdrive. I don't know if NVIDIA have it like this. But you just want to click it. And then you just want to tweak around with this. Just increase your GPU clock a little bit. Try out the power um, limit. And then slowly increase to see which wor what works for you. This is what works for me. GPU temperature. I like to keep it 90 degrees. I've had it like this for a year. It hasn't really been bad or anything i mean to some this might seem really high but for me it's fine it doesn't really ever get to 90 degrees anyway it, it, it normally sticks around 70 maybe even 60 and with a fan speed of 60 percent it's really quiet as well which is quite cool and um it just allows me to have um, quiet gaming and also have great performance. Now finally, the thing which you want to do is go on into your screen resolution by right clicking your desktop and um, make sure you have your um, one which you're going to be playing Counter Strike on clicked here and then click advanced settings, go on to monitor and make sure your screen refresh rate is at the um, refresh rate of your monitor. Mine is 144 hertz. I've got the BenQ XL 2411T, and um, just make sure it's at your refresh rate of your monitor. Because if you bought a monitor with a high refresh rate, you want to be getting the uh, maximum performance out of it. For me, I was running at 60 for a fair part of the year. I had, I didn't realize it could do this, but I did it. And then once I switched to 144, it, it was great. I mean, the performance increase I saw, like you don't get any more frames, but the smoothness and the feel of the game does feel a lot more um, better so it is pretty good and I'm just overall moving around doing everything just feels a little bit more smooth so it is really good but anyway that is about it for um, increasing your frames on counter-strike there are probably other things out there you can do but um, this is what I do and um, hopefully it does help you out you, you might have done all these things before I don't know but um, these are just simple things which I think um, maybe some of you out there haven't done but I've been hopefully you have enjoyed the video and as always I'll catch you on the next one